$3,106 is what all these even numbers came out to. YouTube was good. Welcome back to another video. Man, it's your boy Mousetrap. And we are reporting from Florida. Man, it is cold again. I got my jacket on, Mexico. Um, man, shout out again to you guys, man. We got to 1K subscribers. Um, I am, this, this is my first giveaway. Man, I'm tweaking out a few little things that I need to learn, actually really need to learn. And I'm trying to find a good, the raffle real thing to make sure everybody's names are on there. And we are scheduling up a date that we can go ahead and do it because like I said, you know, this is a big thing for me. So I'm going to do like a little baby cookout. Um, probably invite, you know, a few people over, have a few cars over. Um, treat you guys the way you need to be treated. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, giving y'all a really good video to give you guys a thanks. And someone's going to walk away with something, man. So stay tuned. We're working out all the little baby bugs. That's a thousand names I got to enter, man. So it's time consuming so we are gonna get it done for you guys and big shout out to you guys again but for today we got a good little video for you guys this is for you know the people that got single cabs I always get a lot of questions whether it's on my TikTok in person or IG whatever the case is how much does a system cost to do in my single cab and if anybody's watching this video, this is give or take. And this is what I charge here at the crib. I've been in the car audio and I've done car audio since I was seven, but I did it professionally for over man 12 years, man. You know, I was getting paid good money doing car audio. Okay, so let's jump into right the topic and the facts about it. Cause that's a lot we gotta cover. Subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Out here I'm in the community of the truck game that's like coming up you know in texas california and colorado i think man the truck games you know is good out there florida man we doing our thing but it, you know we still got a little bit to go so and i'm always around all these single cab chevys and i have a lot of people always asking me how much to do this how much to do that so we are going to answer that question for you guys today man i don't know a while back we actually did a system in the single cab silverado a little 1500 we did a whole system in it and what we did was we put front door speakers mids we built a custom they call it a tinny panel but it's the the pillar that goes from side to side in the back up against the window we did a panel inside there custom fiberglass panel at that we built a box for 410 kicker cbr 10s in it i made sure that the box was good enough to recline all the way back you can literally put the seat all the way to the last uh, notch and recline it and you're good you know the dude's actually rather taller that owns that truck you know so um, I had to make sure that they were good because the last thing I want them is hanging out the window you know because the box is like squared and we actually put an angle on it so it fits the contour of the uh, the, the seat and we could have bought a prefab box but Man, they wouldn't have been happy, and subs were going to be limited on it, so we just went ahead and did the extra mile and, and did that, that box, man. So we did that. We wired in two amps, put an amp kit in it, and an EQ, and we wired up the whole truck, and it left playing amazing. Really loud, man. Good stuff. You know, bass notes were good. It, I mean, them boys had that truck since October time, man, and they're still jamming it, man. It, so it's good. It was very good install. Went smoothly. No engine noise whatsoever because we we took time and we got it okay so let's get started subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, you are at the, the the car audio takeover on youtube man we're about to kill it we only get started man we got so much stuff to videos for you guys to see that's never been seen man we're about to get down so let's get started okay so i always me i've been doing car audio since man i was like seven years old i Worked at the shop, like I say, like 10 years, maybe 12 years. Man, it was a good journey. And I've done plenty of systems here at the house. So I pretty much know how to price out a lot of stuff. 
you know what I'm saying? I've dealt with huge, huge cells, medium cells, small cells, anything, man. And I, my finish job, finishing job when I worked at that shop, Mad Mark Stereo, I was actually a supervisor and I was a sales, you know. I had already, you know, proved my time. You know, you, you have to work your way up. And I was finally able to sit at the, the desk, give prices, and I could give good prices and direct prices because I was an installer, so I know what it takes and every single part that it takes. You always want to go ahead and make sure you have everything on your list so you know you cover all the expenses that the install takes and you make your little money off your labor. And if you try to mark anything up from the products, um, you make your little money. So with that being said, let's jump on in there. Like I said, this was a build for a single cab Chevy. I think it was like 2001. I could be wrong, maybe 2002 or 99. But we went ahead and like I said, we did the custom box, custom city panel. We, was, we put speakers in the door. We put the EQ underneath the dash. We wired her all up. Beautiful install. We put the amps underneath the seat. So very nice install. So let's get into it, what it took to do something like that. And if you have a Silverado a single cab or even a regular one, you know, just keep in mind this could apply to you, but you know, prices will change because it's a bigger truck. You probably want a little bit something louder. So this is just a quick little rundown. Am kit, we did $125. That comes with power wire, ground wire, one RCA, one remote wire, some terminals, a fuse, and A and L fuse, and an A and L fuse holder. Two extra RCAs because we went ahead and um you need three because you're doing the EQ, so you need EQs running to the RCAs, then run into the amp. So that's $25. Clarion on EQ, like I just said, that's where the RCAs goes, and you can control your music from it. So clear on EQ, it came out to $80. We did the PRV 6M8200 6-inch PRV mids, and they were $35 a piece, and so we wasted 70 bucks on that. PRV 8. M8200 those came out to $36 so we did 36 times 2 is $72 the 6's went in the doors and the 8's went on that titty panel we did a Terra Amp base 1200 which was 155 Terra Amp 800.2 $150 two sets of PRV TW 350Ti 4 inch slim tweeters we did two pairs of that. $34 each pair cost times two, $68. The four kicker 10 CVR 10s that we put in that custom box, $119 a piece, $476 for all four. Speaker wire that needs to go to the speakers, the amps, you know, etc., etc., you know, for the, the subs to the box and from the box to the amp, $30. 15 for each, you know, fee or give or take, stuff like that. The box, I could have brought a, bought a prefab box, put it in there, maybe two of them, built a front face plate, and it would have looked like two, but I knew that was not really real deal calculated uh, cubic feet in it, and plus, you know, I like to seal them a certain way, brace it up a certain way, and so I wanted to, you know, build it to where I know that it was going to be good. So the custom box, just to build the box was 350 you know that's including staples um pencils all kinds of stuff man because you got to think about everything glue you know all that type of stuff um you probably got to buy an extra little piece that they sell on the side you know because you probably need an extra piece but so the box was 350 bucks the carpet to wrap the box 30 dollars because you have to get good stretch carpet so you can wrap it all in one so it looks beautiful you know what i'm saying the titty panel that's the panel that goes across from the back, from side to side on that back window. And you, I went ahead and I did two eights and two tweeters on that thing. And it's a fiberglass panel, so I gotta resin it. I gotta sand it down. I gotta sand it down pretty good. I gotta take a lot of things into consideration so the seat can move up and down on it, between it, and it doesn't hit it and all that stuff. So just to build that panel, you know, you're looking at $400. Fiberglass is very expensive, you know what I'm saying? And the labor on it, it's a little bit more detailing than anything else, you know what I'm saying? Resin, just to do that, you know, was $100. The titty panel price that I just told you, $400, that's just for me to build it. You know what I'm saying? That's not including the material, you know what I'm saying? 
resin, $100, like I just said. The MEK P for the resin, that's the harder to make sure we got it good. I like to get a certain red one because it, it's, it's really good. I like to work with it. $20. Cups and brushes, man. You need cups to pour the resin in it. You need, you know, sticks to, to go ahead and mix it up good. I could probably just get normal stuff and mix it, but yeah, I try to be professional even though I'm at the house. So I try to do things somewhat the right way. And the brushes to go ahead and put it on it, you know what I'm saying? So that came up to 10 bucks. The bundle, because after then, you know, you want to go ahead and, and after you sand it and stuff like that, you know, you need to make sure it's smooth. There's nothing crazy going on. Blend stuff in from the panel so it makes it easier for you to wrap. So 25 bucks, you can find a good little gallon for that at your local paint shop. Remember, comment down below the price, what you think. And we'll see what's good. Sandpaper, just like I said, after you apply that Bondo and even after you lay the resin, you need sandpaper, you know, grinding pads. You see, I didn't even put the grinding pads in there. You probably need like two of them, so you make sure you get it good. But we'll go ahead and, you know, say $60 for sandpaper because sandpaper is a little bit expensive. And listen, it takes skill to, you know, know how to work with that sandpaper so you don't waste it. Then after the, so sandpaper, like we said, $60. After we get done doing that, uh, city panel sanding it down ready to get a poster and any material that you want to do whether it's carpet vinyl or paint it so we went ahead and wrapped it in vinyl the vinyl glue came out to 25 bucks and that's because we're using the uh, uh i was gonna get it but you know well the adhesive uh contact cement but we got a real exclusive one that you can only get it if you're a distributor or buy it you know have a good solid you know connection to get it because those are pretty expensive and so the vinyl glue will say 25 bucks you know what i'm saying because i like to load that thing up man i'll use it you feel me that that thing is never gonna you know peel up or any of the bubble up or any of that stuff the vinyl for the titty panel it probably takes two yards because it's a little bit longer so 55 dollars for the vinyl and i got a specific the tech shirt is called All Sport, but that All Sport, man, that thing stretches right off the bat for ones. But then once you hit it with that heat gun, man, that thing will stretch. And you know, if you got real deep curves and stuff like that, that's the vinyl to use the All Sport. You can use the Alante, that's good. You can just heat it up. But if you stretch it too much, man, too much, you'll see those crease lines, those stress marks on it. So I, I try to use whatever material I need to do for that specific thing. You feel me? Like I said, go the extra mile, spin it so you have, you know, beautiful outcomes from anything that you do. Okay, then we got heat shrink, which was five bucks. Extra power wire because we did uh, two amps and stuff like that, and we got to get different grounds, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Extra power wire, 25 bucks. Distribution blocks to distribute the ground or the power and stuff like that, $20 connectors and terminals you know we got to ground stuff we got to connect stuff off the radio we got to connect the eq we got to do this we got to t-tap that um all that stuff so connectors terminals and we'll throw electrical tape on there 30 bucks man that's what you know shop supplies the little baby materials what it costs all right so now before we unveil how much all this what i just gave you know out to y'all what I, I just said comment down below what you guys think the price is you know what i'm saying all right, so let's get into the actual price. $3,106 is what all these even numbers came out to. $3,106. Very good price, I feel. And, and listen, they brought me this truck to get it done within a week. And me by myself, you know, you know, I got the kids, I got my wife, you know, I got a little life, you know, I cut hair and all that stuff. And they wanted it for Slam Fest, and they brought me this truck a week before. And like I always say, man, if you got the money, we can rock and roll, you know, because I'm going to build you some nice stuff, and, you know, it's going to sound good, and my name's behind it, so I go the little extra mile to make sure, you know, we, we good, you feel me? So I actually got the truck done in three days, you know, because I was trying, I don't even know what I had going on that weekend, and I just want to hurry up and get it done. I live in HOA homeowners association so and man they, they'll find if they see a truck here longer than what it's supposed to that they know it's not here so i went ahead and man got that truck done in three days man i worked i worked hard on that truck man you know and came out good sounded good dudes loving it i actually got a video of it on tiktok man it's almost like a 300,000 views on it you know um 
the dude loved it sounds good a lot of people don't like the kicker stuff they want to do all this other stuff but like I said on that video kicker CVRs it doesn't take that much airspace for them things to move and really get down you see what I'm saying and if you guys would hear it the smoothness of how it plays and the punch is pretty good man that, that thing is good you know what I'm saying so got we got good airspace out of her kicker CVR they're handling the power to 1200 watts believe it or not that thing is jamming and I don't think I have the amp not like a little bit over half uh, gain up but it sounded good so never whenever you if you are hooking somebody's system up or if you're gonna get something you know always think about the install write it down on a piece of paper draw yourself a map what all you're gonna need to use add some numbers on it and it'll give you a calculated estimate of how much your, your music's gonna build you know what I'm saying this is just the price for that single cab there could book people that will probably want a little bit something different different products and stuff like that built a little different and that price would all you know obviously change but this is the price for that single cab gives you an idea if you're a single cab owner and you want to put a system in it somewhat you know what, what everybody's doing nowadays so that's the price for it man drop a comment let me know what you guys think about this video drop a comment let me know um if you know i'm giving you guys some good knowledge um man actually drop a comment you know so let me know you're in here man comment you know hashtag mtg mousetrap gang man we are taking over youtube with the car audio stuff and you guys are going to come along with it you're you know man we got so much stuff planned for this channel and you guys make it possible man you guys are, are awesome hopefully we can start touring you know going to different you know car audio meets car shows truck shows all that stuff man so subscribe to the channel subscribe to my other channel uh mousetrap tv the all the stuff information will be in the um uh, description of this video man so thank you guys for watching i'll catch you on the flip side and you know we're gonna give this radio away to you guys man you know it's it's coming you know i just gotta work out a little bugs as my first giveaway so bear with a chico man i appreciate the support you guys are awesome and we'll catch you on the next one peace